Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new stopping by for the very first time, thank you so much. My name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Chi Town Girl. I hope everyone is doing well today. It's a sunny day here in the Hudson Valley and I had some leftover items from my last Dollar Tree haul yesterday, so I'm going to share them with you. All these items came from basically the Hudson Valley in the state of New York. Um, I mention all these stores all the time. They're all the same locations. Every single item in this video, a buck and a coin, a dollar 25. All right, let's jump into it. I'm gonna start with a few things that I just grabbed in the kids toy section. I thought these were cute and these are made by a company called Curiosity and they're called Suncatcher Paint Sets. I couldn't pass up this unicorny. How cute is that? And it's purple too. There was no way I was gonna walk by that. So I grabbed that for some of my Christmas giveaways. And then I got this one, which is a cute little koala bear. His face is covered, but here he is right there. I thought those were adorable. You get your paint and you get your brush. The next thing in the kids department, I love to get these big coloring books because these are always so much fun. So this one here is the OMG LOL Girls, the activity and coloring book and looks like that. Here are some of the ideas of some of the pages, which are on the top and the bottom. So I grabbed these girls. I had to grab Barbie, cause we know we all love Barbie. So I grabbed Barbie as well. I also got Spidey. How cute is this Spidey? Absolutely adorable. I remember watching the Hulk when I was younger, long time ago. Last but not least, my absolute favorite, Hello Kitty. She is the bomb, always has been, always will be. She ranks her up there right with Miss Barbie, in my opinion. All right, also in the kids section, I did find a couple more of these squishy command foam play control things. Um, I did take one out of the package in one of my other hauls a few back. They do come with a little cord that you can hang them from if you wanted to hang them on a keychain, a backpack, on your rear view mirror. So there's four different designs in total. Let me get this up nice and close for you. So there's design one, design two kind of looks like a panda, design three and design four. So I was able to find that design, which you can see right there in the packaging. Then this one here, which is multicolored, great for stockings. And the third one looks like this. So now I ended up getting the whole set of four um, because I was just missing one. All right, that's gonna be it for the kids department. Let's jump over to a few things for your car. Oh my gosh, so many car fresheners going on and so many cute ones. Dollar Tree gets these every now and then and I re-grab them because I know so many people that love butterflies. This first one is Ocean Breeze and it's in this beautiful teal butterfly. They also had this butterfly in the scent of mixed berries and it's purple absolutely love that actually it's going with my new nail polish the next one is these um i think they're salamanders but i could be wrong this one is in fresh linen and look at the size of that guy look at his little face look at that little face the next one is this gray salamander and this one is in that new car scent i don't know about all of you but that is one smell i cannot stand is new car smell i don't know what it is it's just like Whoa! I could sniff gasoline, nitromethane, but car, Ugh. here it is right there. So for those, two more to share with you in the car department. For those of you, especially being a mother, a grandmother, um, you're always a taxi, right? All the time. Do they ever tip you? No, <laughs> maybe with garbage. The last one for your car, and this was in citrus scent, and this one looks like a big old bug. I'm not so sure if I would want to put that in my car but it's definitely cool. It's citrus scented and it has a big old suction cup right there to stick it on something. Grandpa likes air fresheners and things like that. All right, household department. This was something new to me. And you know, every now and then you need a nut, a bolt, a screw, a washer. You go to Lowe's, Home Depot. We don't have Menards out here. It sucks. I miss Menards so much. Um, being from back home in Chicago. But anyways, where I was going with this is there's so many things that you need just one or two or three. And if you go to the hardware stores, you're getting totally screwed up the ass because obviously they're there to make money. But Dollar Tree has all these new 
drywall screws, all kinds of screws. So I just picked up multiple different ones to add to my collection of things that I need around the house. You get 50 in here. That is what they look like. Now, if you were to go to Home Depot, Lowe's, stuff like this, a box of nails, a box of screws, insane. I also picked up, and these are by Bulldog Interior, which is a brand name. These are yellow zinc construction wood screws and look like that. And these are the ones that cost money. The next one here is a 50 count of wood screws and these are all corrosion protection. So they've got a coating on them so they don't get all nasty depending on where you put them, you know, in your home. The next thing that I grabbed, which I think everybody needs one of these in their junk drawer, tack and push pin set. You get all types of tacks, your old fashioned ones, which are the white and the old silver ones. And then you get a different assortment of push pins in here. So it's in a nice little carrying packet. Throw it under your cabinet in the kitchen. You got it. All right, let's jump over to calendars. This was on my wish list and I actually got two. I didn't think I was gonna find them, but there they are. I was like, OMG, I have to find this. So let me open one up with all of you. Bear with me a moment. I'm barely awake. I got lots of things going on in the family zone right now, and I'm a little bit on the tired side, but I needed to spend some time with all of you because that's my happy zone. All right, so here is what the book looks like without the plastic. It's very, very shiny. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. So check this out. Let's open it up. You get these stickers. And this is all oh, really nice paper. Look at that. Keep this by, you know, a drawer, maybe if you're using babysitters and whatever. And then there is your planner. This is beautiful. I love the way they did the color in here. This is awesome. Um, I found this just tucked in with all their regular calendars. So keep your eyes open. Um, if this is something, here's the back. Super, super cool. So like I said, I did get two because I thought those were like awesome. Also in the um, section where you can get school supplies and stuff like that, I have um, someone who's next door to me that uses this stuff all the time and goes to like Sam's and buys it. So I grabbed some for them. This is a 25 sheet of Calmer pad. And I remember using this back in school, long time ago, before we had all our fancy phones and all that computers and stuff. So I grab a pack of this, this was by Jot. And then they also use um, a time card system over there. So we have this pack of 50 time cards. So if you have a business or something or know somebody, um, this is a good buy as well. Still people, I still have a time card machine in the shop next door uh, for punching in and out if people wanna punch in and out. All right, let's jump over to some sweets and treats. All right, sweets and treats. This was a cool find, Haribo. Gold Bears, all in pineapple flavor. 100th anniversary, I grabbed me a pack of those because I love pineapple. Yum, yum, yum. I noticed too, when I was reading the back of this, that this is manufactured in Rosemont, Illinois, which I've been there many times being a Chicago girl. Um, but these are made in Germany, which I never knew. So just letting you know right there, made in Germany, if that's something that you would ask me about. The other thing, I've never seen these at Dollar Tree before, and these are Junior Caramels. OMG. It says there's 27 pieces in here. Minimum. I wonder if we should hold them to that and count how many pieces are in here. Because to put that on a box, they be better sure that there's 27 pieces in there. Should we count them? I don't know. You guys got to let me know down below. So we'll check those out. The other thing I came across, OM. I love turtles, the Merritt's turtles. This is Millionaire's Pecan Honey Caramel in Milk Chocolate the original Pangburns of Texas. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but there it is in all its glory. Here is the big state of Texas right there on the back. Again, the company Pangburns of Texas. If I'm spelling it wrong, you got, or saying it wrong, you guys gotta let me know who's in Texas. So there it is. So yeah, I did get two of them. You know what? Let's just do a teaser here, shall we? I'm gonna open this up because OMG. Are you guys ready for this? Look at the size of this piece of candy. Now let's break it apart here. Are you guys ready? I'm so mean. I'm so mean. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, I do have a plate below me because I knew it was going to crumble. Look at that caramel. It smells delicious. So now you guys know what that looks like. So yeah, that'll be going in my tummy later on this afternoon. All right, moving on. Let's shoot over to the beauty department. I need a lot of that right now. I'm so like, blah, it's not even funny. All right, I found a couple of these eye masks. They were so cute. I had to pick them up there by April Spa. One looks like this. And I got one with all kinds of flowers on it, which I thought was pretty. Also picked up, they had these um, bonus buy packs, um, buy two, get one free of the Chap Ice. And this is almost exactly like Chapstick. I'm not saying it is. I'm saying it just basically is. It's watermelon and blue raspberry. You get two watermelon and a blue raspberry. Yummy in the tummy. I picked up these Yardley Whites. Yardley of... That means I need a sip of coffee. Patty, close your eyes. This is one of my halloween -y cups. Okay, Patty, you can open again. Yardley's of London disposable washcloths, alcohol free, 18 large wipes. These are lovely. I keep a pack in the camper. Also picked up in the beauty section, some more salon selectives. I like this stuff. It works well. This is plumping mousse in a four ounce can. And I also scarred, scarred, bloop, scored a four ounce can of the flexible hairspray. I do enjoy using these. They work well. Found a couple more nail deals, and I thought these were gorgeous. Um, and what triggered me to change my nail polish is these nails. I saw these and went, OMG, I want something like this, but not so crazy. So I just went with this color here. Um, really pretty. The next one here, outlined all in black, looks really, really nice. And a little, little bit of shimmer on each tip. Then for those of you that do your own nails at home, nail tips can get expensive. These are by B Color. You get 80 different ones in a package. That is a great buy because you know how much nails can get if you're doing your own at home. Also found a couple more face oil masks. I picked up this one here, which is a glitter jelly face mask. And it looks just like that. Perfect for hanging on a Christmas tree or a stocking. The next one here is Sprinkles by Be Pure as well. And looks like that. And it's Donut. Love this packaging. Last but not least by Global Beauty Care. This is a cucumber hydrogel face mask with vitamins A, C, and E. And looks just like that. All right. Jumping out of the makeup wipes and things like that. I did find... By Bolero. This is a 30 count pack of hibiscus flour and coconut. I thought I would give that a try. The Bolero wipes are nice. I think they do a really good job um, cleaning off your face. I also came across these, which I'm going to tuck in my cabinet. These are made by a company called Softy, and this is Oil Sheen Conditioning Spray. And it says on the front of the can here, lightweight, enriched with shea butter, and looks just like that. And then I found the dry co-wash and root touch-up, which I thought was neat. It says it has a hint of color for darker shades. So I grabbed that as well, trying to do some experimenting. Need to get this hair done. I don't know what I want to do yet. I really, really don't. <clears throat> Last but not least in the makeup department, and these probably should have been in the bath department, but that's just my opinion. These are the Crayola Color Bath Drops, eight water and coloring tablets. You put them in your tub to go rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Again, brand name. This is also Hallmark Company. Crayola is Hallmark. Then I came across these in the beauty department. These are made by Flower Beauty, which is Drew Barrymore. And these look to be some kind of a lip. I just want to double check here. It's a scribble stick for eyes and lips. So I grabbed two of those, and we'll check those out in another video. Also saw this in the beauty department, and this is by Be Pure. It's a cooling facial roller made of stainless steel. So I thought that would be something fun to put into one of my beauty bags that I do for the holidays. And last but not least, just a couple new candles I came across. Actually not brand new. I've got these before, but they burn so nice. The throw is amazing in the house, so this was definitely a repeat. The jars are simply adorable. They have like this ribbed glass here. That is what they look like on top. This one here is coconut 
maroon. And when I tell you that the throw is beautiful, it really is. The next one here is candied violets. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The lids are kind of tough to get off at first, but once you do, it is so worth the smell. I wish we had smell-o-vision. We will one day, I think we will. The next one I found is mango smoothie in this beautiful peach. And last but not least to share with all of you is ice cream sprinkles. What great titles, names for these candles and they smell just as pretty as they look. This one's my favorite. All right, everybody, until next time. Yes, I actually went to the store with my pajamas on and a friend saw me and he called me out. He's like, Elizabeth, are those pajamas through the entire store? I was like, really? Do you want me to tell you some of their secrets and let the whole store know? Anyways, good times. I was just running for a gallon of milk. Um, until next time, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.